Bonjour. Salut. Thank you. So here we are again. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, Donovan and uh, how you met Donovan and your life with him, lasting impressions, those kinds of things. Donovan is my friend to this very day. And once again, Bobby Keys, he opened a lot of doors for me. And, and, um, <laughs> Bobby Keys. Again. Yeah, you know, but he introduced me to Don. And I don't know, we've been fast friends for forever. He used to come over when, at my place and ask Scott. We'd sit out on the lawn and, and pick and sing, you know, acoustic guitars. And, uh, I'd go over there and hang out at his place, I Ching. It's beautiful, beautiful place. Someone sent us some photographs of you and, and Don at, at I Ching. It yeah, is absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, he's a guy. He's a guy that w was around there at all, you know, pretty much every time I, I turned around. But uh, yeah, we were we were tight for years. Still, a good friends. Did you ever write any songs together? I tried to get. <laughs> I tried to. You know, understand, I love him. He's my airy fairy friend, the hurdy gurdy man, universal soldier. Oh, man. Well, when I had my place in Wardrobe, uh, uh, this is, I don't, I don't know what date it was, it's in the 80s, you know, late 80s. I had a place in Wardrobe just outside Henley on Tennis. And I had this idea about, you know, it's almost like uh, what he thought it was. I said, it's like guy comes home, curtains are closed, sheets all over the floor and stuff. Uh, and I, I said, it's like, who's been sleeping in my bed? And he went, oh, like the three little bears. I went, <laughs> no, man, that, that's pretty close. But no, he would have written it like the three little bears, you know, and pulled it off. But, uh. Uh, we we go back to 1970, Donovan and I do. And, uh, uh, you went to see him play, did you not? Or did he? Did you get up to sing or play with him? Oh uh, yeah, one time. Uh, I, I want to say it was in Belfast. Uh, he was playing some big auditorium, but an old place, you know, uh, beautiful uh, concert venue. And he he asked me if I wanted to go. I said sure. And uh, we got there, I mean, he had a, a pillow this big, I mean, that he, could, that he sat up on cross leg and played his, his uh, Tony Zemeda's guitar. And I had, I, I sat on another pillow on, on the side, you know, and playing some, my guitar stuff, you know. Well, uh, Don broke a string. <laughs> And, uh, this is during a show. Yeah, right during during his performance, and he always talks a lot. He's got this beautiful voice, and he, he's captivating. You know? mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he said, "Bobby, go tell uh, Stuart I broke my string." I took it like he was trying to get me to exit because I'm singing along with him, real soulful, you know. <laughs> I said, "Okay," and so I got up. This place is full. And I got up and went back and uh, made myself a drink behind backstage and stuff. And and Stuart's looking at me, and, and Stuart's his brother-in-law and my good friend and your good friend to this day. And uh, uh, he said, "What was Don telling you?" I said, "Oh, he broke a string." <laughs> he said, oh my God! And, oh, I got to tell you, you know, I really well, was kind of. <laughs> taking my time with it, you know. Of course know. you were. Yeah, just <laughs> just having fun with him, you know. Made him work, you know. It made him uh, do some things, you know. And <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> bang, <laughs> he's on the stage. Give me the guitar, you know. Oh, oh god. Anyway, we've always been uh, uh, close, and, and uh, uh, his wife's uh, son, Julian, was uh, Brian Jones's child. And uh, Donovan has raised it, raised you in. And, uh, Are you going to tell that funny story? <laughs> I don't know which one. I've got a whole lot of funny well, stories in my life. <clears throat> he stopped being vegetarian. So oh, I was getting into that. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, that's where I was headed. And, uh, <laughs> well, uh, he had a chef named Nigel Ford, and he actually cooked for the American Embassy in London. Well, uh, Nigel would come and prepare all this incredible vegetarian stuff. Now, you got to bear in mind, Donovan did not drink, nor did he do drugs, okay? <laughs> that was then. And uh, 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 Nigel made all these great vegetarian things. I've never seen anything like that with all these beans and different rices and, you know, oh, it was beautiful, you know, gourmet stuff, you know, five-star restaurant stuff. And... Uh, but there was no meat on the table, you know, and uh, it's all experiment time for me. Anyway, I they had to eat all that. Well, then I go back to my place in Ascot, and I'd get Nigel to come over, you know, on some other, you know, Tuesday or something, and cook like steak and lobster and all these things. <laughs> real greasy stuff, you know, and. Julian and his mama were hot footing it over there to my house to eat and scoff down <laughs> behind Don's back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, he, I think he's... Uh, well, one day he started eating meat again. One, st one day he turned drinking. around and started eating meat uh, and having a little glass of wine and stuff. A little. And so, you know, uh, uh, that's all all right, you know. He went at it backwards, you know. I thought you were going <laughs> I was throwing down and diving in, you know, when I was hanging with Don, and he was totally abstinent, you know. I don't know what he does anymore, you know. No, but. Well, I, I thought you were going to tell the story about the guitar and little Julian and... No, no, you know, I wasn't there. That's was just okay. hearsay from <laughs> Philip and Philip. Oh, passed away. No, I didn't know that. So, you know, he, he Philip Donnelly, our, our mutual dear friend, passed because Philip played with Donovan all the time. Uh, Philip Donnelly, right. the guitar player, and uh, he passed away only about two months ago. I and loved it when Donovan came to town, came here. Yeah, and came he to hear sat us. In, sat in with us. Yeah, came to hear us and sat in with us. And then we went over there and sat in with him. At his uh, thing that he was doing downtown, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, you know, you, I, you, you still have the set list framed and hanging on the wall. Better and, believe it. Alongside <laughs> President Obama's letter, you know. <laughs> Got that right. Mm -hmm.